Okay, hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, I am Bradley, uh, CEO, if you want to call it, of Architrave IT. Um, I thought I'd do a quick introduction of uh, what I'll be using the channel for and uh, about the company itself and, 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 you know, what we do and that kind of thing. Um, sorry about the shake, the earthquake there. It's me hitting my, my, <laughs> my desk. Uh, and apologies for the, the camera quality and microphone. I'm just using some random webcam I found uh, in a box somewhere, <laughs> so it's quite old. Um, and I'm recording from my lovely office, also known as home. Um, yeah, so introduction. Um, I've got this lovely little slideshow. Uh, cool. A um, lot of information and all that. Uh, I'm using an OBS soft OBS uh, studio for this recording. Uh, so these cool little transitions uh, are through OBS. Um, yeah, so if, you, if you're if you curious in, in recording your own videos for your own company, there you go. Anyway, uh, my company name is Architrave IT, pretty simple. Um, Architrave is the uh, part above the, the pillars in the Pantheon or whatever that, uh, uh, you know, brings structure and support. So I thought it was a nice little play on words to, uh, that we provide stability and support to the IT space. Um, cool, moving on. Uh, oh, and uh, if you want to t uh, check out the company on our LinkedIn page, you're welcome to go to linkedin.com slash company slash architrave IT. Um, currently, you don't have a website. If you do go to the website, it just do redirects you to uh, the LinkedIn page. Uh, funnily enough, uh, having a website costs money, so you're welcome to uh, to donate and all that shenanigans. I'll link the Patreon into into the channel. Um, cool. Moving on. Um, these are the list of things that uh, we support. Uh, we provide, I suppose, uh, tech solutions for new and current businesses. I am mainly tailoring the company towards uh, startups and new companies and that kind of thing. Um, the uh, main reason being. I have spent the last two and a half to three years in the corporate scene in a medium to large business. Um, I saw the limits of IT in a you know management kind of position and uh, limits being you automate everything and you get to a point where you're no longer really required to be there 24 seven. Um, I still work with my previous company um, just now more on a, on a consulting kind of basis. So I found that, uh, it's more the smaller businesses and the newer businesses, uh, that need assistance with IT and generally IT businesses, um, re require quite a high amount of, you know, high pricing and that kind of thing, um, uh, because a lot of them are tailored towards, uh, bigger businesses. Um, so yeah, the whole idea is uh, to pro provide um, nice solutions to businesses that don't need the, you know, higher order um, software and that kind of thing. Um, but I'm not obviously not pr uh, preventing the bigger companies from coming to me either. Um, just that bigger companies generally have on-site IT up to a point, obviously. Um, system monitoring, that's very simple. That's just, um, at bare minimum, um, you know, providing things like, uh, you know, ping monitoring, uh, server monitoring, that kind of thing. Um, such that if you have an issue, I can preempt the issue, uh, by calling you guys and saying, Hey, I see that your network's down. Do you need assistance with this? That kind of thing. Um, if pricing, you know, it would be a uh, kind of a monthly set cost kind of thing, um, or, you know, pre-install something for you to do yourself. Uh, pretty simple, uh, data and listen, uh, insights. Um, this is one of my passions, I suppose is, uh, is, uh, statistics, uh, you know, diving into the SQL, into the database, um, and, uh, and kind of, uh, you know, extracting data from the information that you have, historical data, that kind of thing. Uh, the big data, uh, you know, capital letter B I G big, uh, as you learn in IT is, uh, you know, lots and lots of historical data and, uh, shrinking it down into a nice 
readable manner for uh, your uh, management or CEO to take a look at. Um, this can be expanded on and, uh, you know, write, uh, we can write programs for you to, um, you know, send out uh, emails to your, let, let me give you an example just to make it easier. Say you've got a, uh, a report that gives you your uh, sales margins throughout the day, just within a single day. Um, and you want to know uh, specifically your low margins. So uh, when you have somewhere between five and 15% margin, obviously that's not a great margin. Uh, you, you, you probably want to go higher, uh, but say you've got a manager, a sales manager who um, is allowed to give low margin sales. Um, so a, a nice report for a sales manager or your, um, your general manager is a report that's listing the customer uh, who gave permission that kind of thing and what the sales margin is um, just so you can avoid a situation where you uh, a sales rep uh, you know a sales rep or the manager themselves uh, provides too big of a discount to a certain customer for whatever product they might be and um, and you, you you weren't aware of it and you you don't want the situation where you like two months on the line, you look back and it's like, we made a loss on this, uh, who gave permission to this, that kind of thing. Um, it, yeah, it would allow you to, uh, kind of keep up to date with your, your sales day by day, that kind of thing. Um, so that's the dynamic reporting aspect, um, is, um, be it through email, be it through a, like an Excel spreadsheet that's just connected to a, uh, a backend um, like uh, database. Uh, I specifically work with SSMS, which is just the freeware you get with uh, Windows Server. Um, you could do Power BI as well. Um, you could do the email stuff that I mentioned. Uh, you can even link it up with your website, uh, depending on how you've got your website set up. Um, a lot of this is, is relatively easy. It just requires, I guess, uh, some tech, some, you know, programming knowledge, some SQL knowledge, that kind of thing. Uh, system installation assistance. Um, this should actually include also on-site stuff, but obviously uh, for remote work, uh, for people who are outside of Cape Town, outside of Somerset West, outside of South Africa, um, the on-site stuff isn't that relevant. Um, so obviously I do do on-site uh, installation, um, I can also just merely as assist with the, um, who to contact, uh, or, um, organization of the contractors for the area that you are based in, um, or just do it all myself. Um, I am a one man team, so, uh, the best would be just to provide it a, uh, advising on it and that kind of thing. But uh, software wise, uh, you know, um, installation assistance would be, uh, say you've got a new device and um, you've got certain requirements you need to meet with the new device. Um, say for example, you've got a Office 365 for business standard license. Um, you have certain uh, organization apps that you want installed. Um, you want to connect your device to your uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called at the moment. It used to be called Azure, but uh, whatever it's called at the moment, uh, I think it's Entra is the new one. Um, you want to get it connected to your, your Office 365. Um, you want certain apps installed, all of that kind of thing. Um, I can provide that assistance quite easily. Um, I do that for a couple customers. Um, very quick, uh, relatively quick. Uh, it, it, it depends on your own internet speed. Um, but I, I would provide it remotely. Um, even if it's a one off uh, have it as partial training so that someone else can do it on site for you in the future. Uh, expert advising. This is very simple. This is just, uh, you, you want to have, you, you want knowledge. Uh, uh, you don't know who to trust on Google. Um, I just, pretty simply you have a question and based on the knowledge I have, based on the, um, you know, industry knowledge I have, uh, provide advice as to what 
systems or softwares or uh, anything like that you want to uh, do um, even if it's as simple as who to go to for certain services um, I will be uh, you know um, uh, getting a nice network of people locally granted uh, and uh, even some people who are uh, internet who are going international and that kind of thing um, to be able to contact and that kind of thing um, or even as simple as, 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 as how to search for certain things. Obviously, AI is becoming more and more prominent. Um, open AI is a very awesome feature um, and some people don't know how to use it. Uh, so even as simple as to train someone how to use it well. Um, or even using Google, using Bing. Bing more recently also is uh, integrating AI into their search engine. Uh, and uh, I can quite easily teach someone how to use that correctly. Um, programming expertise. Uh, I have quite extensive non, uh, knowledge, not in industry, but in uh, in uh, university. I've got a I've got a degree in uh, computer science, so I do know programming based off that. I suppose I've been programming since I was fourteen. Uh, currently 27, so 13 years strong. Um, I haven't done it in industry. Any programming I've done in industry has mainly been self self stuff, uh, like the email uh, reporting and that kind of thing. Um, you know, BIM and uh, website design, um, uh, some Angular, some, you know, uh, JavaScript, Java, TypeScript, C++, the basics. Um, not industry level, you know, uh, you've kind of got to uh, join a company that does programming and be in a team and each team does their own stuff. Um, but I do have a lot of friends and, uh, and uh, colleagues, uh, you know, um, colleagues through IT um, who are in uh, programming teams um, and provide programming, you know, uh, software development, that kind of thing. Uh, two people so yeah I, I can give um, I can I am going to be a part of a couple teams in programming certain apps I obviously can't mention what it is exactly because it's uh, it's uh, to be announced <laughs> uh, to be found out and all that kind of thing um, but I do have programming expertise and I can provide uh, either resources or advising on that subject that kind of thing and finally reliable it support so very simple um, if you've got a problem with your device um, if you are local and you have a broken something uh, at bare minimum i can give you a uh, you know point you in a direction to go um, give you a reputable person to go to to get it sorted out or uh, provide my own services there as well um, I currently provide a lot of IT services for um, my own customers. Um, things like uh, your, you know, you start up your, your laptop or your computer and you get a black screen, and um, you aren't you aren't too sure how to search it for yourself, or you've gone through a number of things and you can't figure it out. Um, I can provide some insights into what might be causing the issue. Um, based on what the device is and other factors. Um, from that, yeah, IT support is a very generic term, a uh, very umbrella term. Um, best thing to do is to just email me at uh, brad at architrave-it.co.za and uh, I can provide further assistance from there. Um, if you're local, my uh, contact details is on the LinkedIn page. Uh, again, if you just go to my website at architrave itcoza uh, it will take you to the LinkedIn page and um, all the contact details are there. You're welcome to message me there or on various other platforms, um, even here on YouTube, even commenting below is perfect. Moving on to the most important thing in a business is pricing. Um, On-site pricing obviously is going to be in rands because I am in South Africa. Um, obviously, 
it might be different when I if I if I do go overseas to do stuff there. Uh, if I do go overseas, it would probably be in the UK, so um, it would be relatively the same. Uh, maybe changed depending on the local uh, inf uh, stuff locally and all that. Um, I am going to be providing discounts for uh, you know I'm I, I am tailing towards small and new businesses, so on site there will be discounts based on when the business or branch has been established, up to two years. Uh, what that percentage is is uh, really going to be dependent on on the age of the of the business and where they are currently financially that kind of thing. The idea is um, to still provide service if someone can't um, afford me kind of thing. It's not uh, it's not to be played around with. Uh, you know, if you are you know doing well but you need someone cheap. Uh, most likely on site, uh, at least as far as I've found in the local area, uh, my pricing is a lot cheaper. So uh, at maximum, this is uh, XVAT. Um, I'm not VAT uh, registered, so this is also including VAT, I suppose. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, it's XVAT and the final price is 350 Um and yeah, uh, as I said, it depends on how long you have been established for. Uh, remote, this is more in line with uh, people who might view this video. Uh, it would be 250 rand or 12 pounds, uh, depending on uh, which way you want to pay. Um, I will provide information on how to pay if you want to contact me directly through email uh, or through WhatsApp. Um, I will eventually provide details on the channel. Uh, again, discounts are uh, directed towards uh, you know small businesses and that kind of thing. Uh, it's a lot harder remote-wise to uh, really get an idea of how long you've been around for. So I'm more prioritizing discounts uh, based on the size of the business up to 20. Obviously, if you're larger than 20, discounts can be um, kind of organized, uh, but it would be, I would, I would suggest a meeting and discuss why you would want to discount and that kind of thing. Um, already the pricing is quite lenient, um, especially local wise and definitely internationally. Um, yeah, so that's all for now for the intro. Um, I will post things in the future, hopefully uh, more in line, like uh, give a like a demo of um, the type of reports and stuff like that. I would need to do some dummy data and uh, to provide nice reports and uh, what I can provide for the future. But yeah, hope everyone enjoys the day further and I hope this was good enough of an introduction. Have a good day. Cheers.